everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Well, and semis. <laughs> I love it when they do that. Beep, beep, beep. Well, what do you know today, Parker? Looks like a good day to haul grain. Man, looks like we got another one pulling in. That's three semis at 1,000 bushels a piece. How many bushels is that? 5,000, roughly. Good old Iowa public education. <laughs> Morning, Sable. We've definitely been keeping busy hauling corn lately. We had 30,000 bushels on contract for the month of March. We got about 10,000 left once these guys get their loads in today. They've been running some really weird hours down at our ethanol plant. I guess they had a transformer below and they melted three to five miles of underground wire. So it's been kind of putting a hindrance on us getting grain down there. Hey, 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 what do we have here? This is really exciting, Cole, today. These guys are here to drool about our new tires, and I'm hoping they'll put them on for us. So, uh, what are you guys doing here? We're gonna take this four-wheeling out in the mud puddles. Keys are in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> All right, Dad, give us a cold start. Yeah, that smoke? It's oil. This morning we have a whole bunch of people here in the main heated shop. We're gonna be putting the LSWs on the 340, and we're also gonna be putting the floats on the Heggy Sprayer. Well, I shouldn't say we, because it's gonna be these guys. <laughs> excited? Probably not excited as you are, but I'll be a lot more excited when it's done. Always late, hey, hey, hey. always late. Hey, for a good reason. Mm. Oh, oh, stalled it. Take one good long look, ladies and gentlemen, because pretty soon, gonna be transformed. Did you know there is a secret beast mode switch in that Magnum? This guy just introduced this to me. There's a beast mode switch on the 340. It's hidden somewhere under the dash. We have to find it, but when we kick it on, I guess it's supposed to make the tires bigger. It does, I've seen it happen. You know, this is one of them things that you get older, you just know that sometimes you gotta slow down a little bit. Work will wait for you. I'm gonna finish my pizza before I worry about going back to work. Hey, Grandpa John, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking at things. Just putting on big tires like this isn't something that we do every day. Actually, none of us have ever seen this done. We invited a few people out to come spectate. This is actually my grandpa's brother. This is my Uncle Orland. So when we refer to Orland's farm, this is who owns it. You got any advice? Hard work never killed you. If you just hit it harder, it might come off. <laughs> And he said he's put on over 50,000 tires. And this is the most rusted on one he's ever seen in his life. We can't get no satisfaction. Still clinging on, can't fight the action. Headline in every caption. We've gone insane with a main attraction. The only one who made me fly. The only one. Introduce you to a new cameraman for today. We got Langston right here. So we're just grabbing a pallet. Ugh. All right, Scott, is this one coming off? Oh, uh, I don't know. We don't think the front tires have been off since the sprayer was new. That was 17 years ago. They might not do it as easy as we do, but I think they're gonna get it. They're learning. They're learning. They're learning. These new tires sure are wide though. Man, they look good. This is your first time ever in a sprayer? It's the first time I've ever been in a sprayer with uh, three big tires and uh, one little one. Oh, I'm getting the new tires all muddy. All right, here we go, Ricky Bobby. So what's the purpose of weighing the sprayer here? Well, any any piece of equipment, what we're wanting to do is you weigh it up so you're utilizing the, the full potential of that tire's foot, uh, footprint. So if you're, you buy a float for flotation, you want to make sure you got the proper air pressure in it to utilize the whole footprint of that tire and get as much flotation as you can across the field. What do you charge this to, 35 pounds? 25. If anybody's ever been pulled over by the DOT before, these will look eerily familiar to you. Way to go, Cole! 
5,540 pounds. Now, as Flair would say, shoo! Oh, look at those things. Man, they look good. They look mean, and they look aggressive, and they're gonna be so smooth out in the field, I'm looking forward to it. God, just look at that stance. I'm gonna miss these tires. These were good tires, but I'm gonna love the new ones. Hey, Scott, can you help me find that beast mode button? Uh, you know, Cole, in some place, it's like under the seat, I think, up there. I, I don't know. Hey, let me look, let me look. Have you seen it? Let me know I had one. This is why we're here. You see it, Cole? I'm not in the cab yet. I might be down under. I think I feel it. Ah, oh, there it is. Now let's see if that works. Scott, you weren't kidding. Man, Danny, how'd you get so dirty? I uh, roll around the dirt. Not only does it change the tire, he actually helps clean the floor by rolling around in it. Holy cow! I told you I'm six seven. All right, Uncle Carl, it's your turn. You've been eating your Wheaties. Wow. Perfect. Struggling, Scott? You're breathing hard. What's going on? Get in there. Get in there. Danny's put on a lot of tires. He said this is his first set of 1400s that he's ever put on. So this is a pretty special moment for Danny. They're going over a game plan of how to get these things on in May. They are huge. How many of these 1400s have you put on? Me personally? I don't uh, care about you, it is good year. We're talking, I'm gonna say thousands. I bet you sleep good at night, Danny. I do. This is my 24th year with Graham doing this. Danny, no sleeping on the job. Gotta get some breaks in sometime. <laughs> they don't scratch my paint. I'll talk to you later about that. How many darts have you stuck into the tire of the tractor? Zero. <laughs> you sure? I I'm sure. All right, I want to give it a shot. From that far? Yep. All right, now you got to stand on here and film, so if I hit you, we we'll at least have it on film, all right? <laughs> I think it won't hit me. Okay. So far, putting those studs on the 340 has been pretty chaotic. First things first, one of these old studs was stripped from the factory, I guess, so have to get a new one of those. Dad accidentally ordered like 10 more hamburgers than we needed. And the tire guy's main big air gun decided to puke on him, so he had to get a new one. Oh. Hey, you hey. did it! I was a NASCAR driver. I don't think I'd want these guys in my big You know what? It's still early. It's still early. I think we're going to come around on the last one. Hey, 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 what do you got here? Look at that, buddy. Oh, that is so you. Oh yeah, that's a new look right there. That looks perfectly normal, guys. Perfectly normal. What do you think, Grandpa John? I'd like to do it out in the field. Now we got another small little roadblock. I guess we need to get a spacer in here because the tire's hitting the three point. If you would have gotten me smaller tires, this wouldn't have happened. All right, forgive my ignorance. I guess we can just slide this whole hub out. Look at Scott. Look how bright his teeth are. You know, it seems like when you have one of those days, you have one of those days. And today, we are having one of those days. We've literally ran into every single problem in the book, like stuff you would not expect at all. Now I just got sent to go get some more bolts for the back tire, so I got a half hour little road trip ahead of me. And hopefully while I'm gone, they'll be able to get the last set of duels off and I'll be able to get the last tire on. 120 bucks. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know. Let's see. Hang on, one more time. Hey. Why do you have bags under your eyes? Because I'm tired. I'm tired of you. Um, does your face hurt? It's killing me. <laughs> All right, what do we got left here, Scott? Scott doesn't know how to talk. The tires are out further. 
So that means we have more room here. So we adjusted the steering, so hopefully we can turn the starter st st sharper. And you should, and it's gonna be tighter. Did you know Goodyear is different from Goodyear farm tire? Yes. So I didn't know that either. Goodyear farm tires is what Titan is. So it says made by Titan. So like Goodyear truck tires and stuff, that is not us. Goodyear it's farm tires. Copyright in my opinion. Well, it, we're paying for it, so. Hey, if you want to give him a sock, there's some boxing gloves. <laughs> I go bare hand. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Scott. You bet. Good to see you, Danny. Thanks. Cole, Cole, nice job. Nice meeting you. Thanks, Cole. No. How tall are you, Scott? I'm 6'7". Here's a comparison to me and Scott. He's a tall man. Those old wrinkly sad tires. Ugh. We need some rock. It's sloppy here. Get it compared to the back of Cooper's truck. We're done. I can't wait to get out of here. And Coop, you're zero help today. But one right. second I'm posting something. Oh. What are you playing Candy Crush? No. Oh. Have a good night. Thank you for everything you did. Well Coop, what do you think? Taking some pictures of it right now. We got the front wheels completely done and we got all the steering stuff adjusted so nothing hits and we have a little sharper turning radius but the backs we are 99.9% .9 done. We had two bolts break on us when we were taking these off and the bolt place wasn't open so we couldn't get new ones. So they're gonna be coming back Monday. They're gonna put those on, get everything torqued up and then they're gonna be putting the covers on this so you won't be able to see the black. It'll look just like this. And then the Titan tire guys did get the sprayer weighed and then we got the correct poundage and the tires on that set but it was getting too late for this so they went home they're gonna come back tomorrow then they'll get this balanced out then we'll get the air pressures figured out on what we need and yes we are going to be hooking it up to the planter when we do that so that way we have an appropriate load on it because when we're hauling the planter down the road and this is up there's a lot more weight on the back tires versus when it's in the field all the weight's distributed out on the planter but all in all it was a really good day i want to give a special thank you to denny and colton from graham tire in fort dodge iowa those are the two guys who came down and did this like the most calm guys ever <laughs> it was awesome working with them so just want to say thank you uh you know scott me and him they get along that well but you know he's Decent guy, so thank you also for coming out and helping us. And DC pulled a little bit of a scoot scoot out of here because I guess he had to go to a pesticide meeting, get his little license renewed, so he's off of that right now. Cooper and I are holding down for it. He's gonna sit here and admire for a few minutes, but uh, this is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.